What is cracking, my lords and ladies? It's Ren Creates, and today we're going to be taking a look at what is the lowest level you can be in order to wield the Hand of Melania effectively in Elden Ring. And we are going to be answering that question right now. So, first things first, we have to go over what the minimum stat requirements in order to wield the Hand of Melania is. Minimum stat requirements in order to wield the Hand of Melania is 16 strength and a whopping 48 dex. So for a low level, this might seem a bit more daunting at first, but we can actually make this a lot easier and far more interesting if we decide to use our noggins. So let's first go over what we should use. I first decide to start with the wretch class since level 1 and 10 all across the boards. It's the perfect starting class for this type of journey with 10 decks. So I kick it off, I summon Zonderjo, who was very gracious enough to drop me what I needed to make this video possible for you guys. So a big thank you to him. He drops me all I need, and we're going to get into what we've got. So after I get all the goodies, I run over and I kill Merigit. We're going to have to kill Merigit because we need our second talisman slot, which is all we need. We only need two. But we are going to have to defeat Godric the Grafted as well, which I do go ahead and do. Thanks to Zonderjo. Because let me tell you, fighting him at soul level 1 with this type of build isn't really the most ideal. Once Godric is defeated though, we're going to grab his great room. Then from there, I actually go into Larunia the Lakes where I pick up the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier. Which is important because now we have all the required materials that we need in order to make this work. Now let's get to the interesting part. So, at soul level 1, we're starting with 10 Dex and 10 Strength. Thankfully, strength has a 1.5 multiplier, and we are going to be making use of Radigan Sorceal, which brings up all of our physical stats by 5 points. So that boosts us up to 15 strength and 15 dex, which now strength is completely taken care of since we're going to be two-handing this weapon to begin with. Now what we're going to do is put on the Protheus Wearer's Heirloom. This talisman brings up our dex by 5 more points, leaving us at 20 dex before we even level up once at level 1. We're going to use Godric's Great Room, which is going to give us 5 more extra points into all of our other stats, which is going to bring us up to 25 Dexterity at Rune level 1. But we also can't forget to use our Dexterity Knot in our Physic. When a Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier is in our Physic and we drink it, that boosts our Dexterity by 10 Attribute Points for 3 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to bring us up to 35 dex, which this is the highest dex we can really get at level 1. So now we're going to have to start leveling. So we originally start at level 1, and we are going to have to put 13 points into dex, which is going to bring us up to 23 dexterity at level 14. This is by far the lowest level we can possibly wield the Hand of Melania correctly at, as long as we have Godric's Great Rune activated, our Radigan Sorceal and Prothesis Wearer's Heirloom, and of course drink our Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier to get an extra 10 points, so that we're going to be able to wield the Hand of Melania effectively for a mere 3 minutes. And with that, there is the lowest level you can use the Hand of Melania in Elden Ring. And you have to be the host so you can have your Godric's Great Rune activated. And you have to drink the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier. So say you were to not use the Dexterity Crystal Knot Tier, you would be losing out on 10 points. Which means you have to level yourself up to 23. And if you're going to be helping out other players and you're still not going to use Dexterity Crystal Knot Tier, then you're going to have to put in another 10 levels, which is going to bring you up to level 34. Either way, this was incredibly fun to make, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun making it. Again, huge thanks to Zonder Joe for helping me out, dropping a few things, helping me kill Godric. It was a lot of fun, and I hope that you did enjoy today's video as well. If you guys want me to do anything else or have any really good suggestions, let me know in the comment sections below. But as usual, like the video if you enjoyed or got value from today's content or learned something new. And... Hey, subscribe to the notification bell because here we're all about Elden Ring. I've actually got a playlist with over 130 videos on Elden Ring, so definitely check it out. So be sure to follow all my other socials, follow my Twitch, and maybe even buy a t-shirt over at my merch store. Help me out a lot. Ren or you can use my coupon code RenCreates at AOEA.com. But that's enough of holding you here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to rise my fellow tarnished and brandish your Elden Ring. And... I'll see you guys next time.